Well, you've probably seen or at least heard about the impeachment hearings, right? <laughs> well, one thing you should know about using the government yourself is that you don't need a quid pro quo <laughs> to get more money from the government. <laughs> they don't operate that way. <laughs> well, there may be outliers, of course. And that's why, boy, if you saw any of the hearings, if you watch the bureaucrats, don't watch the politicians because you know where they're coming from. They all have an axe to grind, right, uh, on both sides of the aisle. But you see those government bureaucrats that are public servants, that's what you should be watching. And that's the big tell about what's going on in the government and how to use the government. Uh, and that's why you see these people that are, you know, just really don't try to be, you know, down the middle and just about policy. These are the laws and this is how it works and this is what it's supposed to do. And the politicians are trying to use it to get elected. And the bureaucrats are really the ones coming forward and saying, hey, that's wrong. <laughs> this is what the money's for. And this is, the, but more importantly, you know, uh, for you using government money, that's who you deal with. And that's why I have a report for Let's Go Help members, members, how to deal with government bureaucrats, because we don't think of them that way. We think of them as, as slimy, shiftless politicians. Yeah. <laughs> but they're not. You know, they're there implementing laws that have been put into effect you know, by the Congress. Uh, that's what you have to know. And they're trying to do a good job. And most of them are. They're your neighbors or whatever doing this. And everybody thinks, oh, you know, there are people that are just like the politicians we see on TV. No, they're elected officials. And you could use them, too, to make uh, the bureauc bureaucrats work for you better. But remember, when you're dealing with the bureaucrats, they're people. You know, and that's why don't be afraid of them. Use them. They're, 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 their objective is to make quota. They got to give out this money. They, they're, they're, um, it's their job to do that and to do it well and to do it fair and things like that. So that's why deal with them. Call them. Get you know, more in one on one on the people that are giving out the money. And that's how you get more than ever before. And that's why this free report on how to deal with government officials, man, they, they could tell you the insides. They could tell you, show you applications that have been filled out last year, and you have copies of that. They could show you other agencies and other programs that may also help you and things like that. They know more about it than the politicians. Look at what, that's what's happening. <laughs> you see in the impeachment inquiry. <laughs> Politicians are just trying to get elected. They got to bring in the bureaucrats to find out how the government is really working. And when I was in the Navy, that's what I saw. Man, it was the, it was the bureaucrats. It wasn't the officers that knew what was going on. It was those chiefs, yeah, the enlisted guys that have been there for 20 years, 30 years doing that. They know the buttons to push to get things working. And, and, and that's what you want to learn. You know, and, and they're the key, the key to using all this money and information. I mean, they're talking about $200 million. Well, there, there's almost $3 trillion that are given out to individuals every year. And that's why you should know about the government officials, you know, uh, the, and the bureaucrats that are in charge of that office, giving out the money. They know all the ifs, ands, or buts. They know how it really works. They're the people you want to know. And you don't treat them like lazy, shiftless bureaucrats <laughs> because all you have is a politician in your mind. Or, no, these are people, most of them are just, you know, trying to do the best job they possibly can, you know, and be, be above all this nonsense. And sure, there's bad ones, good ones, there's <laughs> bad ones and good ones in my family probably, you know. <laughs> that ha happens everywhere. But you see, I mean, this is the people that, these are the people that came out of the work, woodwork to tell the truth about what was going on. We're just those average bureau politicians. I mean, not even elected officials. They're not politicians. They are government employees, <laughs> like the lady at the uh, Division of Motor Vehicles, you know. Uh, and you're nice to them. You could get so much more out of them. Yeah. <laughs> not pay as much taxes even because they know the system better than you'll ever know it. And that's why it's a people business. 
getting money, getting information, getting help. It's all about people and, and, and how you treat people is a function of how much money and help you're going to get from those people. Because remember, these bureaucrats, like you saw, you know, in, in the, um, uh, in the hearings, I mean, they're going to get the pe same paycheck no matter what. And they're sacrificing. See, that's another thing too. They believe in this stuff because they're sacrificing their jobs. The other people are trying to hurt each other so they, they get a job next year, you know, the elected official. But the bureaucrats uh, really about, you know, telling the truth and everything are sacrificing, you know, their position. They may get fired because if the people in charge now don't like their position, they can literally get rid of them. And they're taking that risk of getting fired to them. So to me, the, these bureaucrats, you know, the, they're the really heroes to all this, you know. They're saying the truth as much as they can or they know or whatever. Uh, you may have some quibbles about some of them, but in general, man, it looks like they're the only people that tell the truth and that the heart of this business and trying to do it as best as we can. And boy, that gives me uh, encouragement about the strength of this country, not these politicians, man, they're just <laughs> fighting for the next election, right? And, and, and these elected, these non-elected officials that are running government offices that are really important. And look at that, one little government office is, is giving grants to another country to protect themselves so people don't die in that country. Man, that's powerful. So they're also in charge, they're the kind of people that are in charge of the money for you to do things. Sure, you're gonna get bad ones, but you know, in general, I mean, I think most of them are good people. I mean, remember, these are your neighbors doing this you know and then look at them on tv they come out and, and risking their jobs you know the elected officials don't want to risk their jobs they want to fight for their jobs <laughs> by, by trying to stretch the truth as much as possible as opposed to risk your job by just laying out the facts and telling the truth so if you're trying to get money and help from the government i, ha I have a uh, uh, a report that i'll send you about how to treat uh, government officials to get more money uh, than anybody else. And that's what it is. It's a people business. And you have to learn about how dealing with the government people that run these programs that hand out the money. So you want to know more about that? It, it's www.free.lesco.com uh, slash lesco help. And we should celebrate these government you know, bureaucrats that are really trying to do good. And trying to tell the truth because nobody else seems to be